hello lovely viewers welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to share with you how i made this plate beaded by here so stay tuned do not go anywhere and let's begin so the materials needed are a fishing line chain for the handle and then your scissors and of course your beads and then the plate i did not show it here but that is the major thing you need here so i will start by making a ring of 2 by 35 so the 35 you can choose to reduce it or increase it the choice is yours so i believe you guys understand the big mountain so i'll just leave you to watch it and then I will come in when the need arises. And you can see that I have wrapped some masking tape around my fingers and then it is to prevent my fingers from getting hurt from the fishing line when I'm stretching or when I'm tightening it. So here I have 34, so I will turn with the 35th one. And after turning, I will start with the second row. We need only two, two lines, so two by 35.
okay so here i'm done with the 2 by 35 so let's go ahead and start working on our plate but before that i will fold the two as shown you fold it this way okay and then you can see that you, you have two top beads so you enter the next bead straight okay you go straight to the next bead uh -huh. so here i'll place the plate in between the two lines of the bead matting and then with my left fishing line I will enter one of the hole from the bottom okay so I will place a masking tape there for us to know that that is our down part so from down to top that is how I entered the hole and with that same left fishing line I'll pick one bead and then I will cross it so here I'm knotting but you can choose to cross you can choose to knot the choice is yours and after knotting after crossing with the same left fishing line fix one bead on it and enter the same hole that the first hole downwards like this and then turn the down part of the plate and enter the next bead and then after that you enter the next hole for your fishing line to come up i will repeat this few more times so you understand and then with your right fishing line you enter the next bead on the bead matting you pick one bead and then you cross it you enter the next bead on your right but with your left fishing line, you fix one bead on it and then you enter that same hole downwards and when it comes down, you enter the next bead there. And after entering the next bead, you enter the next hole upwards. Hope you are understanding it. So when it comes up, you just take one bead and then you cross it. So with your right fishing line, you enter the next bead. With your left, you pick one bead and then you enter the same hole. And when it comes down, you enter the next bead make sure you enter only one bead and then you enter the next hole for your fishing line to come up and there you pick one bead and cross it i hope this explanation is enough but if it is enough maybe my explanation is making you more confused so watch it and if you have any question any suggestion any clarification just let me know in the comment section or you can whatsapp me 
in the my number is in the description box so i will allow you to watch from here So here my fishing line has become short so instead of crossing I will just tie one or two knots. So after tying you will have to enter the bit with the rest of the fishing line or with the SS fishing line but because of time I will just go ahead and cut a new fishing line and then show you how to add it so 
kindly watch because i don't know how to explain this but okay so i'm putting the ends together to make sure they are equal and with the left fishing line i'll pick one bead and then enter the hole downwards And when it comes down, you enter the next bead, just one. And after that, you enter the next hole for your fishing line to come up. You pick one bead and cross it. So you continue from here. So here I'm left with some few steps and I'll be done with this round. So, I'm almost done with this one. So, you enter the last bit there. And then, you can choose to secure your fishing line from that part or you continue with it for joining the sides. So, I'm done with this one. Okay. So, both sides look the same. But, I will use the, the, the side that we have the masking tip for the inside. Because, I like how the bit has been arranged at the other side. So, with the 2 by 35 that we did in the beginning... You will need three of them. So you need two for the two plates and then one to join it. So joining it, I'll pick my right fishing line, fix one bead on it and enter the first bead here. Downwards and then you pick one and cross it. So afterwards, you enter the next bead on your right with your right fishing line the next bead on your left with your left fishing line you pick one bead and you cross it and that is how we are going to join the sides and i like i said earlier you need the two by 35 three one for each plate and then the one which is the one that we are using to join the size here but later on i realized that the size or the inside of the bag it became small so i increased it by one so you do two by 35 two and then three by 35 one but the choice is yours if you're okay with the 2 by 35 for the size it's totally optional so i'll continue to join it and i'll come back to show you what to do next
after joining this one you join the other side so it's using the same process so here as you can see i'm done joining it and it looks so beautiful it's very very beautiful yeah, so you see the inside has become spacious because i did it three by 35 but i can choose to do it two or even four by 35 so i will use chain for the handle and after that i will use the beads for the short handle So here you count one, two, three, four. So the fourth line, and then you fix it on the fifth beat. Okay. So I'm done fixing the chain. Yeah, as you can see, it looks really beautiful. So I'll go ahead and then fix the short handle using the bead.
Ebenezer, this is how far the Lord has brought us. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video as well. It looks really beautiful. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.